recognize the one demise of Mr. Jacob Marley. We do not mourn his passing as we cannot mourn a man we did not love and cannot love a man we did not know. Mr. Jacob Marley kept largely to himself, a miser of misers, able to squeeze a coin until the queen's image would cry from the pain. Upon his death, his last will and testament stated that all of his property would be turned over to his business partner, a one Mr. Ebenezer Scrooge. from their humble flats and now they have no place to lay their head uh, or take their wares. They are completely destitute. And so uh, I throw them at your mercy. You have a choice, ladies and gentlemen. There is still a yet a chance and hope for you to escape Mr. Marley's place. As a chance and hope is extended to Mr. Ebenezer Scrooge, should he take up the torch of benevolence, so to speak. If you want to know more about Jacob Marley's demise and the hope that lies in the future for Mr. Ebenezer Scrooge, then you can purchase tickets for the Dickens Christmas Carol Tour taking place on the third Thursdays of November and December with Fezziwig Christmas Ball to follow. Tickets are a mere $10 and will go to support your lovely town and its merchants association. So that rather than have one man control everything like a certain Mr. Ebenezer Scrooge, uh, we can promote the welfare and benefit of all of our citizenry. Would anybody like to say a word on Jacob Marley's behalf? For the service, we have asked a lo local rector if he would say a few words. That is true. Okay. Um, that would be 